pleased to inform you that we have arrived at the labyrinth. Please be advised that the punishment for trespassing is execution. Please be advised that electrical storms on the surface of Tartarus make departure impossible at this time. Resident count is as follows. 3,071. Resident deaths, including but not limited to executions, are as follows. 1,684. Resident escapes are as follows. Zero. The interior can be chilly. Take a scarf with you, Captain. I would also ask that you leave your Captain's ID with me, in the event that you do not return. Understood. If you die or are incarcerated for life, I can generate a new ID for the next captain. I would prefer if you return, though. Oh, speak of the devil. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from the prison's docking authority now. Attention, unauthorized spacecraft. This is a maximum security installation. Your presence here is an explicit violation of UDL corporate policy. You are hereby confined to your docking platform until a ticket detailing your crimes has been filed and notarized, at which point your vessel will be seized and you will be executed. Your ship is not permitted to leave until you remit payment for your fines and submit yourself to execution. Only after your smoking corpse is thrown from an airlock will we lift the lockdown on your sp Captain, I would not recommend this course of action. We're on lockdown. We have standing orders to shoot. Tartarus Docking Authority signing up. Hang on. Looks like you're gonna have company at the execution. Another ship just pulled into your dock. Wait, is that from the Groundbreaker? What the? Pay no mind to that, just have a pleasant day. Transmission, how can I be a Goodbye. All right. Miss Lip first. Let's 
<laughs> Look at this. Like they literally We're good to go here. <coughs> All right. 
lots of people here. This weapon just make this game. Uh, it, it puts it on easy mode. Kai, what, what Kai said? Kai didn't say shit man, everyone's busy dude. No one's helping me.
who it is I'll be damned I was prepping the studio for our announcement and here you are as a bonus when you go off and get yourself shot try to avoid taking one to the face I want it recognizable to show to my citizens haven't you heard Phineas is working for us now. It took some doing, but employing an efficient management strategy of putting our guns to his head seems to have done the trick. Yes, he is an extraordinarily obstinate fellow, isn't he? Fine, he isn't working for us per se. Semantics, he'll come around. But that's between us. As far as my adoring citizens will know, we've turned a dangerous crackpot into a working class man. Oh yes, go on, wake them up, add more mouths to feed. That'll solve our start. I don't know what half-baked plans that simpleton in a lab coat has been... Let me ask you something, Captain. Have you at any point thought about not fucking up our entire... This coming from the psychopathic outlaw. Yes, I'll try to be more open-minded. We don't need your help. We'll have to agree to disagree on that one, Captain. 
Now, if you don't mind, I have to finish prep. Damn. Now we're talking, I guess. Uh, I should have gone that earlier. Oh shit. That was not a dream. That was okay. Thank you for securing this place. Captain, you have an uncanny tap. You've disrupted the balance of power. You've upset the natural order of things. You've introduced... I'm afraid I can't. You're a gifted warrior, Captain. You've made your talent... For all your talents, you are the enemy.
Hmm. You make a nuanced and compelling argument. Dr. Wells is being held in my custody. His cooperation will prove in... All that's left to do is put down this riot, arrest you, and then get on with the bloody business... Fair enough. I'm giving you exactly one. Yes, I'm quite aware of your brazen act of corporate vandalism. By the way, those test subjects you killed? My scientists assure me they can recover the data you've destroyed. You've succeeded in temporarily delaying our... Phineas Wells told you that? Phineas, narcissist, and demented crackpot Wells? You'll excuse me. I trust my own scientists over Wells. They've... Damn you. You are telling the truth. My scientists have been lying to me, and I was stupid enough to trust... We're going to have to start all over again. All that... You were always an unknown variable. I tried to recruit you, but you threw your life... Why can't I use this, bro? That's bullshit, no voice. This prison is equipped with an auto-mechanical warden. I've had it programmed to eliminate... And don't worry. I will inform Doc... Alright. So killing it is... Kill that one.
You don't know how glad I am to see you. You did the right thing. Akande was a monster. Her death was much deserved, and long overdue. And you, you lunatic, you broke into the board's own fortress just to rescue one <coughs> doddering old man. You are absolutely out of your mind. And I can't believe <laughs> to thank you enough. I'm all right, thanks to you. Akande wanted my cooperation. I'm quite sure she would have beaten it out of me if you hadn't arrived. You've broken the board's stranglehold on this colony, and you saved my life. But there... You and I are going to have to work harder than ever to save Halcyon. I'm afraid the situation... Earth has gone dark. We haven't received a single message in three years. This... Two years ago, the Earth's Directorate's frigate disappeared on their way back to Earth. We don't know what they discovered when they arrived, or if they arrived at all. We're in serious trouble, my friend. Do you know what this means for Halcyon? We can't rely on Earth for... Yes, we do. You've done a marvelous thing. We must begin the revival process immediately, starting with the hopes of brightest minds. And then we're going to fix this damn colony. We're going to need a leader. And I can't imagine a better person for the job than you. What do you say, old friend? Will you help us? I can't tell you how glad I am to hear that. <sighs> when I revived you, I thought we were going to save this colony all by ourselves. But I was wrong. We can't save Halcyon on our own. We're all going to have to pull together, somehow. We are not a colony anymore. Our last connection to Earth has been severed. I don't know if we'll survive, but... No, cool, cool, cool. The OSI teaches that everything in the universe happens according to the grand plan. But the stranger that arrived in Halcyon was an unplanned variable. From the moment he landed in Emerald Vale, his actions altered the course of history. The events on Tartarus brought about the end of the board's authority. But the board's mistakes would haunt the colony for decades to come. The damage they left behind would require the work of a generation to repair. Dr. Phineas Wells began reviving a handful of the Hope's colonists, engineers, scientists, technicians, and intellectuals. They were among the brightest minds the Earth had ever sent out into the stars. The Hope's scientists and engineers woke up in a colony descending headlong into total collapse. With no way to return to Earth, they had no choice but to band together and devote themselves to the cause of saving Halcyon. The people of Halcyon were nothing if not hardy. In the absence of the board's authority, many of the colony's settlements banded together with a single purpose in mind, survival. Life was especially hard in the years to come. Some towns dissolved by attrition and starvation, but most of them found a way to carry on. In the years to come, Halcyon was forced to reckon with its newfound freedom. The board was gone, and for better or worse, the colony was responsible for its own destiny. As the colony struggled to survive, the inspirational story of the iconoclast spread like wildfire, and Graham was able to bring many of the smaller Terra 2 townships into the fold. However, his zealous obsession with spreading the word blinded him to the needs of a growing organization, and the movement was unsustainable at scale. The iconoclast way seemed to work best, and ultimately petered out on Monarch. Consumed by paranoia, 
Lilia Hagen took sublight salvage in a controversial direction, openly accusing board officials of an extraterrestrial conspiracy. One day, an accident at the groundbreaker's docking bay silenced her forever. Time would tell if her replacement could keep the sublight family together. The collapse of Edgewater left its workers bereft of any purpose in life. Most of them made their way to Adelaide McDevitt's camp, hoping to ingratiate themselves into her favor. Adelaide accepted only a few to her community. The rest were turned away and likely died of starvation. Nevertheless, Adelaide's camp grew into a well-established town. Adelaide McDevitt refused to cooperate with the ongoing effort to save Halcyon from collapse. A sympathetic deserter stole a copy of her research and delivered it to the Hope's scientists. It is unclear how useful Adelaide's research was. An optimistic estimate suggests her work may have bought Halcyon another few years of survival. Adelaide would never know. She died that winter. Under the leadership of June Lay Tennyson, the groundbreaker held firm against corporate influence. The ship's mechanical stability gave June Lay the time to educate a promising generation of engineers schooled in her family's traditions. The future of the groundbreaker looks promising. The rediscovery of the hope and the abandonment of the lifetime employment program forced Byzantium to come to terms with some uncomfortable realities about the state of Halcyon. While Byzantines were reluctant to surrender the luxuries they'd grown accustomed to, the board's diminished authority gave them little choice in the matter. Nearly everyone had to learn to make do with less. Some even had to get jobs. It was a dark time indeed. The vicar, Maximilian de Soto, died while serving aboard the Unreliable. It may not have been what he wanted, but he surely would have preferred it to living out his days in Edgewater. Parvati didn't survive her adventure with you. Dioka didn't survive her adventure with you. Minister Clark was released from house arrest, and his contact with you gave him a sense of renewed purpose and vigor. Once it became clear that no help would be coming from Earth, he threw his considerable efforts and talents into helping Halcyon manage the crisis before it. As for Dr. Phineas Wells, he spent his remaining years in his orbital lab. Though he was always haunted by the failures of his past, he was determined to make things right by building toward the future. Dr. Wells was able to revive many more scientists and engineers than he first expected, thanks to the additional batch of chemicals you stole from the Ministry. Wells never forgot about the human lives that were lost in acquiring these chemicals. The revival project was hard and painful work. But in the end, despite limited resources, over half the Hope's colonists were successfully revived. Even after Wells passed away, the Hope scientists and engineers worked night and day to pull Halcyon from the brink of collapse. Their efforts continue to this day which may be reason enough for optimism. Dr. Wells laid the groundwork for the project to save the colony, but he would never live to see the fruits of his labor. He passed away a few years later. His work was carried on by the scientists and engineers he revived. Life will never be the same in Halcyon. It is widely agreed that the colony has a chance of stabilizing within a generation, owing to the hard work and determination of the surviving colonists. Recovery is a distant goal, and the path is long and uncertain. But the people of Halcyon carry on, determined as ever. And what about you, the unplanned variable in the history of Halcyon? Long after Wells passed away, you carried on his work with more energy, determination, and brilliance than he could ever muster. The years that followed were hard, but Halcyon survived by the efforts of the Hope's most promising colonists, the greatest of which was you. No one knows what's happened to Earth, and no one knows what the future has in store for Halcyon. All we know for certain is this, the name of the unreliable and that of its intrepid captain 
will remain the subject of countless stories for years to come. Alright guys, thanks for watching. It's a, it was a really good game. I really recommend this game. Story is good, gameplay is good, everything is good in this game. Thanks for watching guys, see you on the next one.